I'm just taking this serious because I know people who have gone to hospital. Take care of myself for a few minutes. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and push that subscribe button. This morning I am running a charter. I got this charter like two days ago. I wasn't going to take a lot of work right now because my daughter is here, but it's early in the morning and she's probably going to be sleeping anyways. So I've got two dads, two kids coming down to the beach. We're going to get them on some fish, having some fun. We're at Varn Park. This is one of my favorite places to fish that's been closed. There is no ramp still yet. So my husband had to help me bring my cart down the stairs and we're supposed to have a heat index of over 100 degrees starting at 11. So we'll be off the beach by then. But right now, let's go see what we can catch. Hopefully it's more than a catfish. This guy's been catching catfish left and right. That's <laughs> north of me here. All right, we'll take that. That's a good whiting. Nice. Definitely we'll take a good whiting. He's heavy. Let me get some water in the bucket. All right, got my people showing up, so I'm gonna pause this for now. So the first thing we do, we lift it straight out. We're gonna turn this to the left to tighten it. Because what you wanna do is keep tension on the line. If, you're, if it goes slack, that fish can come off. It can pop right off really easily. So who's gonna reel this one in? So you're gonna hold it there and start reeling. I'll kind of hold the this up for you. It's a little, and you reel as fast as you can. Yeah, you can help him if you want. Here, I'll hold it straight, you reel. There you go. All right, keep reeling, keep reeling. You want to reel fast so he, he doesn't have a chance to get off. Almost there. It's easy for them to pop off right now in the in the waves here. We call it the wash. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Keep reeling. There we go, it's a little guy. Boy, he made a big ruckus, didn't he? <laughs> He's a little whiting though. Got it. Good job. Good job All right. So if you want to hold, hey if you want to hold, yep. oops. Oh, he popped right off. And see how uh, how easy he came off. If there was any like lack of tension on the line, that's really easy for them to pop off. Do you want to hold him? No? Okay. If one, I can hold him. You want to hold him? Oop. He's really, uh, really slippery and really squirmy. <laughs> But he is a, he's a little whiting. You want to hold him? If you hold him like this, he can't flip around as easily. So, do you want to try? It's your chance. No, he doesn't have to. We'll, we'll be catching more. We'll see how big this guy is. There's no size limit on whiting, so if, if they're not big enough to eat, I usually use them for bait. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, he's almost 10 inches, not too bad. But even the small ones put up a little bit of a fight. Get it straight out. We'll turn this little knob to the left and then you can start reeling as fast as you can. Yep, yep, reel it, reel it, reel it. You got it. That one was pretty far out, so it's gonna take a little bit longer to reel it in. It's right here. I it's see like that. I see it's right here Yep. Oh. He's almost here. You just want to get him up out of the water. There, there you go. Yep, keep reeling, keep reeling. There we go. It's another whiting. He looks around the same size as the other one, maybe a little bit bigger. That's a little bit smaller. You think yeah. it's smaller? We'll check. He might be a little smaller, we'll see. So what we're gonna do, I'm trying to hold him pretty secure. His fins can come up and they, they can feel a little sharp right here, but I'm trying to hold that part down so it doesn't poke me. And then he's got, these are called circle hooks. So the best way to get them out is just kind of reverse motion in a circular motion. That'll usually get it right out. Tail was barely on the 10. It's a twin, Luke. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're twins. Do you feel anything? Yeah. Okay, I cool. Did. 
It's a catfish. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, their fins on the top and on the sides have barbs in them and they can carry bacteria and stuff and we don't want to touch those. So I put a glove on and I hold his top fin down and I'm trying to go behind. See, he's laying his fins back. <laughs> Come on, dude. I want to get behind those fins so they can't get me. So, and then this, he was barely hooked. So but his whiskers don't have any, you can touch his whiskers all day long. You're not gonna get hurt. It's these fins. I'm just gonna chuck him back in the ocean. We went to take a short water break. The fish didn't want to break. <laughs> oh, it's another catfish. Oh, it's a little bigger catfish. Yeah, they fight hard. All right, yeah, that's a pretty good size. Oh, he's got his fin missing. Something ate his fin off. Yeah, we got what, 15, 20? Oh, the sand right here. And there's, there's so many. I'm gonna take them up and put them in the bucket. Okay. And we're gonna use these for bait. Look at all those guys. Keep reeling, keep reeling. It's right in the wash. Okay, use that wave, let it help it bring it in. There we go. Here. There we go, keep going. Little guy. <laughs> Little guy. <laughs> All right, Luke wins the smallest fish. Oh, you got a baby pompano. Yeah. Little baby pompano. And these have little spikes. Yeah. The little small ones are here year round, even though the big ones head up north and migrate. They've got little spikes right in front of their top fin here. Oh, yeah. There's two of them down here, and there's five here. I'll hold them and get a picture of holding it in front of you just because they have some spikes on him. I don't want him to hurt you, okay? All right, so here's your fish. Going. Oh yeah, you got something on there. It's a catfish. He's fighting hard though, isn't he? You can hold the line up like high and that way you can keep those, those spikes away from everybody. All right, one, two, three, smile. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I could see something going. I could see something moving in the water and it was a school of fish swimming. You might need to tighten the drag a little bit, it sounds like. Oh, there you go. I think it's another catfish. <laughs> Who wants to reel this one in? We got a fish on. Let's stay ahead of it. Who's, who wants a reel? You want a reel? All right. Okay, start reeling real fast. Real fast. Oh, there we go. Hey, it's not a catfish. Hey, a little whiting. There we go. All right. Good job. I'll get a picture of you. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got something here. Yep. Grab this one? Yeah. All right. Keep it reeling. Keep it reeling. All right. Hold that tip up. Keep it reeling. Oh, there we go. What do we got? We got a spot fish. Ooh, there we go. Kind. We got a different kind. Yep. I put the uh, fishing girl silver rig on this. Let's see what we got. We got shrimp. We got shrimp fish bites. Hoping for some whiting and getting away from the catfish. And we got a little catfish. <laughs> okay, well, How much we can try it again. We still have. He's about 12. Him, maybe, yeah, maybe 10. We'll see. I don't want to let go of him too much because, let's see. Nine. Nine and a half to the fork in the tail. Total length, uh, 10 and a half inches. Ow, ooh, he got me. Ow. Through the glove, yeah, ow. Okay, hang on. I have like a, I've got a first aid kit so I can get some antibacterial stuff on me right away. Well folks, first time for everything. I am officially gotten barbed in two spots. <laughs> but I wanna treat it right away because I know this is gonna be really bad. 
I'm just taking this serious because I know people have gone to the hospital yeah, from getting barbed, so I'm yeah, just yeah, going yeah. to take care of myself for a few minutes. Uh, so far, I feel okay. I've mainly stopped bleeding, but that line over there went nuts. We'll see what he reels in. That's a nice whiting. Yeah. You want to toss this one out? What's that? I tossed that one. There you go. Yeah, put it in the same spot. Right, you can right, right, do it right over there. Right. So close to 13. Nice. Yeah, he can go in the bucket. All right. Oh, that's a little bonnet head. Uh, it's actually, it's called a bonnet head. It's called a bonnet head shark. Here we go. Let's bring him back to the cart. Yep, yeah, that's man. a shark. Grab him behind the head. Make sure he's not. Here, look. He's got the line twisted around him a couple yep, times. Yep. Yeah, that is down his throat. <laughs> look at that. He really, really swallowed that thing. There we there go. We go. All right. Can I hold your shark? Sure. Something okay, different. Okay, so what you're going to do? From behind the head, and then at the tail, and then uh, we'll get a picture. There might be a there might be a fish. If you guys want to? Yeah, if you want to. Can you do it without? Do you need help? I, I, I Let me can just. Oh no, there's this. something on there. Yeah, there's something on there. All right. Yep, you can reel faster. It's good. It's better to reel faster so they don't have a chance to get off. You got it. He pretty much did it by himself. Yeah. Good job. Nice, it's a good little whiting. Yeah. It's, it's a little bigger. Catfish. It's bigger than the other one you caught. Good job. <laughs> we got one line in the water right now. <laughs> That's always good though. I'd rather be catching watch fish. Your feet, bud. Watch your feet. Yeah, watch that Sputnik. Get underneath it. I'll hold this weight up for you. Try to hold him right above the, there you go, right above his fins. That way he doesn't have as much room to flip around. And he ate that pretty good. He's you're kind of pulling in a circular motion backwards. Do you need help? Yeah, the finger. Hey, there's okay. dolphins over there. Oh, yeah. oh, are you all right? I don't know if you've seen him before. Yeah. Right. Oh, I see him, yeah. Yesterday morning, I there. Super awesome charter today. I'm taking up my last line. And I was walking it in. I'm going to see if they are doing it again, but wait for a good wave. Look at all the sand fleas. There were literally hundreds of them. Let's look now. Nope. There they go, right there. Look at all the sand fleas. They just popped right out, and they're like, nope, we're not staying here. Well, I'm so glad we got on the fish, and we were able to get out of the heat before the heat index got too hot. It was even really hot there at the end. But if you're interested in a surf fishing charter with me, check out www.fishing-girl.com. I would love to show you how to fish here on our beaches in Flagler County. I would love to talk to you about setting up a charter. But thanks again for watching. And as always, tight lines, God bless, and we'll see you.